Hello, YouTubers. Um, I'm here today to speak about this government shutdown and how stupid I think it sounds, you know. Um, it's more like we elected a big baby. Somebody who actually is more like it's either my way or the highway. That's not how we actually roll in America. The sad thing is, those that actually support this idiot... That's right, I said it, an idiot, okay, sits there and thinks, okay, I'm going to make everything safe, but you're risking flights right now. TSA ain't getting paid. You think they're going to want to come into work? I sure hell wouldn't. So what, you're trying to think you're making something safe? You're making it about 30 times worse, okay? You're affecting public safety if this keeps it up. You're affecting, you know, and the sad thing is, you know, I seen profiles, okay, one said, um, keep the government shut down forever. God bless you, Trump, you know, uh, says on one profile, we're stand behind you. Really, are you guys that much of an idiot? When you get robbed and this government shutdown keeps going and you morons need the police to help you because you may not, not everybody may have firearms or weapons like I do for self-defense. You know, who is to blame for all this? Do you think if I was an officer or TSA that I would sit there and come into work if I'm not getting paid? Fuck that. So, you know what? He's making America worse. Another thing. The economy. It costs twice more. Dude, like, people are already struggling, and you're still behind this idiot? You're still behind this asshole? You know, if you supporters of his think that it's going to be a Nazi Germany world order, it's not going to happen. Because I've seen more prejudicism and more racism since this motherfucker got into office. So if you think it was going to be a new world order, no. Because to me, it seems like you guys just brought into office a dictator, is what it seems like to me. Okay? And I sit here before you because I'm not scared. You could barrage me with threats. You could sit there and say what you want of me. I don't give a fuck. You citizens don't know me, okay? I, I am an American citizen, okay? And I'm tired of even Democrats and Republicans acting like a bunch of fucking kids, you know? Like, just come to an agreement and he still won't fucking sit there and budge. So what's going to happen with your tax returns? That's another thing with the economy, when people get their tax returns, it goes back into the economy because people want to go put money down on a better car or pay off some bills, you know, or put money down in a house or put money down, you know, on something, you know. So it goes right back to the economy. It will be late now because of this shutdown. So if you morons want to keep putting on the comment section under his shit, Oh, keep it shut down forever. We're right behind you. You guys are idiotic. You guys are the dumbest fucking people I've ever seen. Okay? Because you know what? Both sides are acting like a bunch of morons. They're acting like fucking kids, man, that need a timeout. This guy won't budge, but even both sides already threw him fucking um, deals that he wants to just refuse. This is not a game, people. This is not a joke. If you really, really think that this is a joke, oh, I'm right behind you. Keep it shut down forever. You know what? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you because all of you are morons and don't know how the U.S. economy obviously fucking works. So you know what? If you want to continue to sit there and support this nonsense, which I think is childish, I really do. And you families out there that have kids, man, I feel sorry when your man can't fucking bring a check because it might affect, you know, even uh, uh, jobs. You know, it's going to be total chaos if this keeps it up. He's talking about keep this going for months or years. 
keep it up. He may not even make it twenty to 2020 election. The guy might end up like just losing altogether to his runner up. Motherfuckers say, oh, yeah, uh, uh, mega, you know, 2020. Dude, I sure hell ain't going to vote for him, you know. You want to act like an idiot? Okay, let's see how many fucking people get affected by the shutdown. Now, when you people can't get your tax returns, you people get robbed because it affects public safety. Um, when people are at risk in flights and something happens because of Trump, you know what? Blame your leader because I don't even consider him a leader. Okay? I consider him a goddamn clown. And some of the profiles I found out, I mean, look at your own profile. You're behind them, but, you know, the profiles are either Mexican or a black photo. Like, you think he cares? Unless you're rich, he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck, especially with those backwoods white people. You got to be rich for him to give a shit about you. I know a lot about this, you know, because, you know, how can somebody even get elected when they're sitting there running their mouth about females, okay, down talking them, and majority of them were females that actually voted for them. And he's making fun of mentally challenged people. How does this asshole even get into office? You um, citizens want to know why? Because it's not about our votes. Our votes never mattered. It never did. It's whoever has the most money to get in there. And the guy's rich as hell. Of course our votes ain't going to matter. In secrecy, I'm pretty sure half of the U.S. citizens didn't even freaking vote for the asshole. So I'm going to leave it as that and let you citizens think about, oh, before you open your mouth, I'm behind Trump. Or I'm for the government shutdown. Because when you guys can't get your tax returns... When public safety can't help you and it's total chaos, you guys better think who actually did it. The motherfucker who you elected. All because of a wall. Wah, I want the wall bill. But try to, you, you don't want to pay for it? Who, who do you think's going to pay for that? The taxpayer. But he said something about a trade. I don't know nothing about no trade. Do you citizens hear anything on the reports on the news about a trade? Exactly. No trade. So it's going to come out of the taxpayer's money. Or he expects not to pay. You know, try going to a dealership and buy a Mercedes with not one dime. See, see if that works for you. This is how our leaders are now. Living in fucking champagne uh, um, budget with beer budget. This economy's already broke, America. And you supporters out there that want to continue this shutdown, say on YouTube, keep it forever. You guys are a bunch of idiots because it's going to affect a lot more than what you think. And if you think, oh, no, public safety is not government owned. Well, Google it. Obviously, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So when it's total chaos out there, when this continues, you guys think about who did this to you. Donald fucking Trump. Peace out, YouTubers.